All right, so I'm going to be going over how to export objects from Brawlcrate that use SHP expressions or basically vertex morphing. Um, so I'm going to start out actually by just exporting the default face and only the default face. So you can just delete everything else from the objects list and then go back over to the MDL0 and export. Um, I'm going export as a day. Very smart to use um, suffixes though. So let's do fit link zero of the day, neutral face. All right, so and then I'm going to use the restore to uh, get all the stuff I deleted back. Um, and then now let's go look for his expressions. Um, they are stored in his motion act. So, Let's open that up, or load it within the preview. Um, I should note that you go into the model preview by selecting the MDL0 and hitting Control-P, or you can right-click it and go to preview. That also works. I like ho I like hotkeys, so I use hotkeys. Uh, so sorry if things aren't super clear if what I'm doing. I'll try to say them. Um, but from here, uh, change the, the CHR to SHP. Um, and then we're going to go find the, the animations that we want to... We want to find the animations that morph our object and we want to apply them. So here and wait one, link will blink. So we want to set this all the way up. Um, select both of these. Select the left one first and then the right one. Um, that is important. Otherwise, things might get jank. Um, Brawl creates a very stable program. Um, obvious sarcasm. But once you have that, just hit set, and this will basically ask if you want to apply this morph to the actual model. So if you hit OK, and then you deselect the animation, go back into T-Pose, you'll see that your morph is now um, on the model itself. And then if I ask you to do this, just hit no, that way you don't mess with anything. Uh, so now I'm going to go through again the process I just did with the neutral face, except this time it's a blink face. So um, we're going to basically do that for all the expressions blink. Control-Z, preview, load. It can be a little tedious, um, but it's not hard. This entire process actually is just te tedious and not hard. Um, it's very daunting for people to get into this at first because it's just, it's a lot more, I say it's a lot more complicated, but it's a lot less unintuitive than how like viz expressions work, which is what pretty much most of the cast uses, but SHP just look, looks better because it has smooth trans trans transitions. Because um, a lot of Brawl characters look like the puppets because they just flip between mouth open and mouth closed. But anyways, talk expression. And then after this, we'll just have the hurt expression. That's not the right color. Control-T, Control-P, load, and then link, motion act. All right, now we need to go find his damage face. So look for a damage animation. Doesn't matter, it doesn't really matter which because they all should have it. CHP, select, select, set, okay. Good, close out of that, and then this all right and then we'll export it as a day it's important you export it as a day uh, because there is no program that 
will let you load MDL0 files into Blender, and there really isn't a reason to, and you can just export them as day anyway. So, just export them as day, and then we will go and convert all these to FBX. I do recommend Autodesk FBX Converter 2013. Uh, it's perfect. It, it's never failed me. And then from here, let's open up um, Blender. Let's import all those FBX files that we just made, or we converted. So we're going to import them all at once here. All right, so I'm going to separate these here. Oops. We're not separate, but I'm going to kind of space them out so I know what I'm looking at. Okay, so now that we have all of his expressions exported and in Blender, we can actually start editing them. And the way you get these to basically all be one object is through shape keys. They're right down here in the object properties. Um, let's get our default face here. Um, basically, the way shape keys work is, and of course, SHP expressions in Brawl Crate, is... Um, vertex IDs and basically every single vertex has a number attached to it and when you move these vert and basically shape keys store the position of these vertexes and they will um, slide in between them if that makes sense so if we do if we select this object and then we select our base object we can go over here and do join as shapes and since these two objects have the same vertex IDs, every single vertex has the exact same number, otherwise this wouldn't work, then we can see that it morphs perfectly. And we'll just do this for every other expression we have, the shapes, and then you can see that the expressions are now all in one model. Remember, this only works if um, vertex IDs are the same across every single one, and you can check that by enabling um, developer tools, or whatever that really means, <laughs> and um, going into edit mode, selecting everything, and you can see that 73, 74, 76, 73, 74, they're all the same, so they'll all work. That's the way you can check. Um, I'm going to turn that off because I hate this. All right, so now we actually don't even need these. Uh, you can get rid of these and get rid of these. That's not the right one. There we go. Okay, so now um, let's let's edit this in a way where it'll show us uh, what's actually going on. Um, if you go into edit mode with a shape key selected, then it'll go. It'll you'll basically be editing the shape key, which we don't want. If you want to edit the, f the shape of Link's face while also preserving all of these animations, then make sure you edit the basis. Because the basis is just the face the way it normally is supposed to be. Um, so I'm just gonna do something kind of dumb here. I'm just gonna select his face and probably just make it wider, because that's funny. Um, Let's turn on proportional editing and then control. Yeah, that's fine. His face is wider now. Um, as you can see, that all of his expressions are also a lot wider because they morph with our base. So now, if you want to export all of these, then we're going to have to export four FBX files, one for every single expression. And in order to do this in a way which Brawl Crate won't yell at you for, um, you basically have to delete ev all of these shape keys but one, export, and then do it again except with a different shape shape key. So I would recommend saving, and then deleting everything, 
except for one, the one you want to export, of course, and then do export. Um, armature, add leaf bones. This is important to uncheck for reasons. Um, basically, this will just add an end bone to every single bone, and you don't want that. It'll mess everything up. So just un unclick it, it'll be fine. And then um, I'm going to make a new folder here for organization's sake. Then, okay, we got our first one exported. I should have renamed that. I'm going to rename it um, neutral. There we go. And then I'm going to reopen. Don't save because otherwise our expressions will be gone. So let's just delete these and then write FBX talk armature add leaf bones. Don't save. Write FBX edited add leaf bones neutral talk. This one was hurt, pretty sure. Yes. Don't save. One, two, three. Write. Edited. Blink. Add leaf bones. All right, so now we've got them all exported. And the next step is just to convert these all back to a day. DAE, day, whatever. So that way they can, can actually import these back into Brawl Crate because Brawl Crate only works with days and NDL zeros. So now that we're back in Brawl Crate and we want to reimport all of our faces. So I'm going to start by doing this by um, first I'm going to go to this vertices because this is where the vertex data for every single object is stored. And this is also where the information for the, um, the vertex morphing is for. So the game will check here to see um, basically how to morph an object if it has an animation that calls for it. That's probably a terrible way of explaining it, but I'm exhausted. Um, what we're looking for here is these face files. Anything that like would resemble um, like an expression or something is kind of what we're looking for. For Link's case, it just says face M, which is normal. Face M blink, face M ouch, and face M talk. Um, you want to copy these down somewhere. I have them in a notepad. Um, to copy the names, just do Control N to bring up the rename, and then Control C, and then just cancel. So um, delete all of these because these are currently storing the data for the brawl face, and we want to import the data that we edited. So we're going to delete them, and we are also going to delete the normal face. So now what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to go over to reimport meshes. It has a shortcut. I'm going to be using the shortcut for the rest of these because we're going to have to reimport these one by one. Um, it doesn't matter the order you do them in. The only one that matters is the neutral. Um, you want to import the neutral last because that's the one that we want to keep. So, and if we do it anywhere before the last one that will have duplicate end entries for the new the new for the neutral vertex morph it'll it'll just get complicated so just do that one last um for re-importing the report settings there's one called right here blender bone fix make sure you have that on true um yeah it'll just remove any weirdness that blender does so it said okay and then we'll see our wide link blink face is here um, except we don't want them to be blinking normally. We only want the, the vertex data. We only want this. So we want to delete it. We can delete the material and the shader. Um, do not delete the vertex node because this is this. And we want to keep this. So don't delete this and you can delete everything else. And then I'm going to do this for the rest of the expressions as well. Yes, yes. Oh. Okay, talk, delete, yes, yes, no, yes, yes. Okay, and the last one is the neutral. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the vertex data for link here. And we have all these ones that we imported. Um, 
they're still the names of the files that we exported from Blender. So we're just going to rename them. This one's the neutral. And then we have a blink, which is the first one I imported. Ouch is hurt. And talk is talk. So now I'm going to save just in case any brawl create jank happens and it crashes. I do not want to lose the progress. So now if we go back into the previewer and we boot up Link's Motion X, we will see that they should work. And that they do. He 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 blinks. Um when he attacks. Oh, where is an attack? That's not the right one. Attack dash. Come on. There we go. He opens his mouth when he attacks. And when he's hurt, he will do that great face. So yeah, um, that should be the whole process. And with that, I'll end.